All right, I think the lighting is good. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Cellini. And on a recent video where I talked about all these specialties I almost went into before ultimately choosing radiology and interventional radiology. In that video, I had someone comment below asking me to talk about all the specialties I hate or dislike or like the least. So that is exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to talk about three of my least favorite specialties in medicine. Let's go. All right. So before I start this video, I just wanna give a quick disclaimer. I am in no way, shape or form talking bad about these specialties. There is a specialty for everybody and there is a personality and specific doctor for every specialty as well. Just because I do not like that specialty doesn't mean it's a bad specialty by any stretch of the imagination. It's just not what I was into and it didn't fit my personality type. So I just wanna get that out of the way. I'm not talking bad about any specialties or any doctors in those specialties. So let's get into the first specialty I liked the least. And that specialty is pediatrics. <laughs> Why do I always have to do that? So pediatrics for me was just something I was not into. I think that is pretty similar across the board for everybody who goes into medicine. You either like pediatrics or you don't. There is no like, I sort of like it. There is no like, maybe I could see myself doing it. It is straight up black or white. I do like it or I don't like it. Now, for those of you who don't know, you do your first pediatric rotation in your third year of medical school. It's part of your required rotations. And I will never forget mine. I. Why does this thing keep flashing? Now, I actually strongly considered pediatrics when I went into med school. I thought it was going to be something I was interested in, and obviously it ended up not being, but there's a couple reasons why I didn't like pediatrics. One of my least favorite things about pediatrics was actually having to deal with the parents. Now, obviously a child cannot make decisions for themselves, so you would always have to talk with the parents. The thing about parents is there are some that are very easygoing, and there are some that are not so easygoing. I think we've all kind of dealt with those people, but it's very frustrating in pediatrics because the actual patient doesn't have a say in their care. And I don't know, I can't really describe it, but I'd much rather deal with the patient themselves than the parents or the caretaker. I'm trying to put this as nicely as possible, but anybody who's in pediatrics, comment below, or if you rotate in pediatrics, comment below. I guarantee you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to say anymore. Another thing I didn't like about pediatrics, you can't really communicate with your patient. A lot of times they're either infants or young kids and they can't really express what's wrong with them. For me, I'm very impatient. It's kind of frustrating because I just want them to like tell me what's going on and give me some sort of history to figure out the puzzle, but they can't. It's very similar to how my brother must feel all the time. And for those of you who don't know, he's a veterinarian. Here's a link to his channel up here, but he has to deal with animals who can't tell him what's wrong. And this is probably very similar to pediatrics. Well, I probably shouldn't compare a child to an animal, but you know what I mean. They can't tell you what's going on and it makes it hard to make a diagnosis. I think I'm just digging myself in a hole here, but you get, you get what I'm saying. Another thing I don't like about pediatrics is I don't like seeing kids suffer. Kids are supposed to be healthy. They're supposed to be out of the hospital. And it really kind of hurts your heart to see kids in the hospital and being sick. And for me to surround myself with kids being sick all the time, it's kind of depressing. And it takes a certain personality who has the patience to take care of that patient, go in there day in and day out, even though it's kind of depressing to see kids sick, but they still do it. So shout out to pediatrics. I don't know how you all do it, but you do it and you do it oh so well. So my hat is off to you. It just wasn't for me. Also, just as an aside, I do dabble in a little pediatric interventional radiology. We do have to insert tunnel catheters in children a lot of the times. It's not that I don't like it, it's just it's very tedious and they're, they're just so small. So everything is very small and all the movements are small and you have to like zoom in a whole bunch on the x-ray machine. And I feel like I'm just working on like a tiny human, which I am, but I don't know, it's just not my thing. It's a little too tedious. And yeah, if I wanted to do that, I would have done like ophthalmology or something. All right, so you probably know my second least favorite specialty in medicine because I have talked about it oh so many times and I even did a short video on my YouTube channel about it or about one of my experiences just last week. And that field is emergency medicine. 
Now, I don't know how, how on earth people actually work in this kind of environment. It takes, I don't know what kind of person, but it is literally chaos at any point in the day, at all hours in the emergency department. Like literal chaos. I mean, it's somewhat organized, but it, it's crazy. So just as an example, obviously I worked in New York City and I have to see consults in the emergency department that are in need of emergent interventional radiologists. So I have to go down there pretty often. Every time I have to go down there, I have to like prepare myself because it is literally a zoo. Like there are patients everywhere. It's so loud in there. There is always a drunk person or a high person yelling at someone. Someone's fighting with somebody. And then you have the, <laughs> and then you have the like employees, the nurses, the techs, the doctors, everyone's just like, just like typing away on their computer and like all this stuff is going on. I'm like, how are you guys focusing on anything with this kind of chaos around you? But I mean, hey, they do it. It takes a specific person to enjoy ER and that person is not me. I very much prefer a nice, quiet, controlled environment, especially in diagnostic radiology. I just sit in my room, have my coffee, read my films. Nobody bothers me. Well, sometimes I do, but nobody really bothers me. It's not crazy, it's not chaotic. Sometimes people stop by and say hello, but people aren't coming up to my reading room, trying to punch me in the face, telling me I'm treating them wrong, telling me they need to hurry up. It's just a nightmare. And on top, hold on a second. All right, Andrew out of call me. I have no idea where I was in this video, so that's good. I have a ton of close friends who are emergency medicine physicians. Shout out Christy, shout out Trey, shout out Brooks, shout out Julian. And I don't know how they do it. It's crazy all the time, but they, they must just thrive for that split second patient coding. Patient comes in with multiple gunshot wounds. You have to stabilize them. Patient got in a car accident. They live for that. And we need people like that, but that person is not me. Now, diagnostic radiology is more controlled than probably any other field, but interventional radiology is also really controlled. It's more of like a controlled chaos. It's more like low key, do your procedure, take your time, regardless of what's happening with the patient. And that's the way I like it. So the last specialty that is one of my least favorite specialties that I tried oh so hard to enjoy, but I ultimately didn't. And that specialty is dermatology. Now, I know what you're saying, Michael, you like to look good. Michael, you like to do your hair. You like to dress well going in the hospital. You should be a dermatologist because most of them are very well dressed. And, <laughs> okay, <laughs> cut this, this is garbage. I thought I would like dermatology because it's a pretty, good lifestyle specialty, right? So most of it is clinic based, not too much time in the hospital. You have a whole bunch of patients you see every day, usually from like the eight to 5 p.m. Very straightforward, no call. I can't even think of a dermatologic emergency. So you don't have to go in the hospital in the middle of the night like I always do. So like what's, what's bad about derm? Why would you not do derm? Well, a couple of reasons. Because I actually did a dermatology rotation and I mean, I hate to say it, but I was bored out of my mind, like so bored. I'm not talking bad about dermatologists. Like I said, at the very beginning of this, that was a disclaimer because I'm certain people think radiology is the most boring thing on the planet, even though it's not. But talking about skin all day, it was seeing the same patient over and over and over again. You see a patient with acne, you see a patient with a rash, you have them come in, you give them steroid cream, you send them off, then you see a follow-up and you say, oh, that didn't work, let's give an antifungal, and you send them back. It was like the same thing over and over, times 40 every single day. It just wasn't for me. And then you had to tell everybody to make sure they wear their SPF and all that stuff. <laughs> I love it because of the cosmetic aspect and that the hours are fantastic, but I just could not make myself like it. Plus it's super hard to get into, which is crazy because some of the smartest people in the US who match in at dermatology are just taking care of like acne on a daily basis. But that's the way it goes. So on that note, those are the three specialties that I liked the least in medicine. If you have a least favorite specialty, make sure you leave it in the comments below. If you thought you could see me in one of these three specialties, also let me know in the comments and I will respond to them as always, at least within the first hour. So otherwise, make sure you smash that like, subscribe button, follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. And I'll see you all two times a week, every single week, sometimes three times a week now because I post a short here and there. I'll see you all on the next video. Peace.